What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. I hope you are doing well. Today we are in city car driving. Um, this is a simulation game. This game is very realistic. I just did three things right now. I just turned on the car, uh, took the parking brake off and put my seatbelt on, and now I just threw it in drive. So here we go. Basically the objective in this game is just drive. There is no objective. Um, you have to be mindful of, you know, the traffic violations and whatnot, so you got to try to keep it as realistic as possible. I'm in free mode. Uh, there's fuel management, so you got to, you know, if you're running low on fuel, you have a gauge that tells you that, and you obviously go to a gas station and fill up. Um, what else? Let's see, if you're speeding... Uh, you know, you you can incur traffic violations that way. If you crash into cars, um, yeah. So really, there's no objective. It's kind of like an open world game where you just keep driving, and I like that about it. Uh, I don't actually. I don't know where we are right now. Um, as in which country we're in, but it looks like it's the U.S. Sort of. But I'm not sure. I, I actually I don't know. I don't know. These road signs and things look kind of familiar, but this stuff on the ground doesn't. The paint, you know, all the the painted um, instructions on the ground. Okay. So no violations yet. Where's my speed? Okay, 29. I'm doing 29 and a what? I'm not even sure what the speed limit is. I, I'm sure it was posted behind us somewhere before, uh, earlier on. Hold on, let me see. Is there anything that says it? No. Yeah, nice. We got a green light pretty quickly. Sometimes you can sit at these lights forever. Um, oh, only. Hey, wait, hang on. Whoa, why am I getting these guys honking at me? Um, yeah, so we, let's just let's just drive around. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, okay, so they're not honking at me, but there's stuff going on that I'm not aware of that uh, is causing these, this, the AI to honk. What? Okay, guess I'm gonna honk too. This, this car, uh, the G-Wagon that I'm driving is a mod, and I found out there are tons of mods for this game, which is so strange to me because doesn't seem like a an awfully popular game by any means but I mean if there's a bunch of mods that means there's a bunch of follow there's a big following you know um, look at the detail look at the detail on this this car okay so there's a uh, Instagram I guess uh, tag for the creator of this mod I want to say look at this thing amazing detail let's go inside look at this just amazing I mean I think it's pretty cool maybe it's you know maybe th this is uh, these are textures and things from other games I don't know but I'm, I'm, in, I'm thoroughly impressed so here we go so it's a stop sign or, or maybe not okay all right let's go it's five let's go come on clear the intersection Okay, let's go back out. It's smooth. I mean, I'm driving with a wheel, but but yeah, this thing is smooth. 25. 25 is the speed limit. I'm doing 36. Okay, yeah. Speed limit, 12. Oh, there's a bump. Okay. You know, I was I was reading some of the reviews, and uh, apparently some people use this game to learn how to either drive in a different country, this one on the curb, um, or to learn how to drive in general, just at all, uh, which is an interesting concept, you know. I never thought 
there would be a game that kind of I guess with the level of realism it kind of makes sense you know with all the the things you have to keep in mind and clues from start to finish you know you gotta st like turn on the car take off the parking brake put your seatbelt on put it in drive um, so yeah that that kind of makes sense to me see that car just blew the stop sign I don't know is that a stop sign or not maybe you guys can comment down below but I'm thoroughly impressed with it I like the you know the graphics they're not the best graphics but honestly it's good enough I mean I'm I'm running 1440p here and uh, okay I'm, I'm in a right turn only lane left turn oh man there's my first violation I think left turn violation so when I turned I was halfway in one lane uh, the other half was another lane and when I when I went into the the other lane you know fully into the other lane it detected a lane change I didn't have my signal on though but I wasn't trying to do a signal uh, or a lane change so you've got pedestrians walking everywhere you have um, cars a lot of traffic I'm, you know like if this game can can load up all this traffic why can't other games do it oh are we supposed to go? I don't know but yeah let's let's drive around a little bit let's check this out but it gets up to speed real quickly this car is just you're driving in the forbidden direction what? Failure to keep safe distance of the car driving in front of you. Wow. I mean... Turn signal was not used. Yes, I did. You gotta stay in the lane, man. It's Or it's gonna throw some violations at you. I don't... We're in free mode, so I don't think it means anything. Um, you know, it's not like uh, American Truck Simulator where you get docked, you know, from your money for every violation. You run a red light, you lose $400. Um, speeding, you know, various, various infractions have different costs that take away from your pool. So... But I'm in free mode, so maybe that concept doesn't exist here. But there is a career mode. I, I have never jumped in it before, but maybe I'll make a video with uh, just the career mode. This is fun. I don't know what it is. There's something very calming, relaxing, and enjoyable about it. I think it, I think this is kind of the reason why uh, people play like role-playing games. Honestly, it's. Uh, I think as humans, we just appreciate realism. We we want realism in a in a virtual world but we don't like the real we don't like the real world <laughs> if that makes sense okay so here's a cop in front of us um, I'm gonna I'm not gonna bother him but I bet if I bump into him I'll get a ticket or something Let's take a look at the front of this car again. Man, oh man, I love the G-Wagon, but especially this one. This is so sick. Tran220, you did great. Nice job, man. I love this view. Look at this view. What a cool view. Like, not many games have this top-down view. This is also a nice view. It just goes right to it. So here we are at a red light, like I was saying before. Sometimes these things take take a while to turn green. Um, better throw my signal on to get a cop. Oh, yeah, is it our turn? Okay, so we probably have a yield on this left. Or maybe even a light. I don't know. I've got a cop in front of me, so I'm not going to like rush him along. I see. This is 
guy gonna go? Okay, he's going. I don't know how he's going or where is the indicator? Oh, I see a tiny little green arrow. Okay. I wish the indicators would turn off af automatically after you make the turn. What failure to keep distance? Man, come on. Oh, there's a car there. I was just about to make a lane change, but I see in the bottom right. Interesting, okay. Uh, okay, okay. Speed limit. What is the speed limit here? Hmm. Uh, not to make too many comparisons to American Truck Simulator, but in that game, your GPS um, tells you. Well, your GPS tells you. The, the posted speed limit, you know, on the road you're driving. Um, here I have to rely on the road signs unless I'm missing it, it maybe it's on the screen somewhere I'm not seeing it but I'm pretty sure I looked for it and I couldn't find it so okay so I'm just going round and round on the roundabout uh, but I'm going to take one of these turns pretty soon here let's see come on Alright, come on, Lexus. You gonna go? Oh. Okay, so... I think I need to get over if I'm gonna... Come on. Go! This Ford Focus is inching forward, but... On the drive right! in a forbidden direction, maybe, maybe, I, I, I could have probably violated something there, and I'm probably following this guy closely, too closely, I'm gonna get a violation, um, let's see, let's move over, look at that smooth lane change, but I'm going too fast, what can I say, I'm driving an AMG G-Wagon, it's, the thing, the thing picks up, what are you gonna do? 25? Look how 25 is way too slow, man. Train tracks. Boom. Ooh. That felt good. Let's go back out. Let's see. I'll just go straight. Like, I have to take my foot off the pedal if I want to do 25, basically. It's like coasting. This is not the UK. We're driving on the right side, so I don't know where this is. Old area. Testing ground. <laughs> oh, by the way, the sounds in this game are terrible. Car engine sounds. I mean... The horn, everything. I don't know why that sound. Like all the focus went into gameplay. They put zero focus on audio. You know, which is strange to me. Like, and it's not just the mods. It's all of the cars, even the, you know, the the stock cars. But it is what it is. You know, um, you still you still have fun. I can hear the engine. It's just not as pronounced as as it should be, and it's definitely not accurate to what the G-Wagon sounds like. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video on this game. Uh, what I'm going to do is start featuring, you know, these uh, these videos where I'm not really saying anything. I don't want to... Uh, it'll just be me driving around town, but I wanted to make this first video with me introducing it with audio, with, you know, uh, with me talking, so... Um, hopefully, hopefully it's been helpful, and 
Oh, by the way, if you want to know, if you have this game and you want to know, let's see if I got a lane violation. If you want to know how or where I got these these mods, it's it's within Steam. You just you just go to um, you go to the workshop tab, click on the game, and then there's a tab called workshop, and then you hit subscribe on any cars you're interested in in playing with. Simple as that. No need to drag and drop folders. I, I watched a bunch of videos on uh, installing games that way, and it doesn't seem to be necessary. So, yeah, they made it really easy. Um, I think those videos were probably made before the workshop um, option was available, I'm guessing. But, but yeah, this was one of the easiest way, uh, games to install mods on. You know, BeamNG is pretty easy, but this is this is like really easy. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna pull over here, um, and we're gonna end this video right here. Thank you for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Peace.